On this date, April 7th of 407 AD, the Roman Emperor Honorius banned pants. And it went just about as well as you'd expect something like that to go. Now, perhaps my explanation could stand a little clarification. I know Rome in its heyday was noted for debauchery, but this had nothing to do with that. By the time Honorius came along, Rome was not in its heyday. Indeed, the end was nigh. And if there was a man to do something about the problem, it sure wasn't him. Instead, Rome was sacked on his watch for the first time in almost 800 years, only three years after his infamous decree. But why would he spend his time banning pants, even if he was such a bad emperor, that when he was told that Rome had perished, he freaked out because he thought it was a favorite chicken he'd named Roma, and that would actually have upset him. The reason he banned pants is that back then they were thought of as barbarian attire and not wholly without reason. Maybe the Scots would agree, but in the early 5th century, the Romans still wore togas. It was the barbarians who wore pants and increasing numbers of them were moving into the empire, setting up shop, exercising undue influence in its public affairs and looking like they might take over and trash the place. Which of course is exactly what they did do in 410 and again and again. The Western Roman Empire was not long for this world at that point, at least as a political organization. So is there a lesson from the banning of pants other than decrees about clothing are often futile? Yeah, there is. By the time you get around to doing something like that, it might well be too late. By the time you have barbarians in your streets flaunting their contempt for your civilization, walking around looking like they might be about to smash everything that they can't set on fire, you've let things slide for too long. A ban, not just on pants, but on having people who were not properly Roman, more or less shoving everybody else aside, hitting them with their elbows, being too big and tough th for you to dare to take them on, should have been dealt with centuries earlier, certainly decades. Again, I'm not saying Honorius was the man to do it, but somebody needed to do it. Instead of letting things slide to the point that you ban barbarian outfits and everybody ignores you, three years before the barbarians, still wearing their pants, sack your city. You really do have to pay attention to these things while there's still time. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.